Hey everyone, it is LaDonna with Chalk Time with LaDonna, and we are going to work on the patio door. So I was trying to find something to put behind here so that you guys can see it a little bit, because <clears throat> I know that it's harder, it's harder at night because the lights, um, the, you know, there's not enough light to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to try and show you a little bit what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that you guys can see this and hey Shannon and that we'll just get this going. It is really hard um, for some reason to show this on here <clears throat> um, today because of course it's cloudy and it's not working with me. So before I have done my um, water and can on here and you can see this is hard on here now. It will not come off. Um, the butterflies, these are all done on the inside. Now, I could have did this on the outside. Hey, Michelle. Or, hey, Catherine. Or, um, but for me, it's just easier to do it on the inside because, oh, wait, it's Wisconsin. We have crap weather. And um, if you guys can't tell, it was snowing a little bit before here. And it was perfect because it was more cloudy and it was easier. So I'm going to show you how we're going to add some bunnies, some birds, and possibly some flowers too here. So let me know if you guys, if this is too hard to see, because if so, I might have to try a different way. So yeah, so we are going to, oh, but I want to show you first. So look at this. You can also do this on textiles. This is just fabric with an embroidery hoop. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? This one says, let your dreams be your wings. This is my motto now. Let your dreams be your wings. Because if we quit dreaming, what do we have, right? And this. Oh, my heavens, y'all. This is my favorite. Even though it didn't come out perfect, this was one of the... Um, it was earlier when I did this. So I didn't have a lot of the techniques down. But you can see, because if I would have did this right, the wings would have been done on the inside so none of the glitter could come off. And then let your dreams be your wings would have been done on the outside of it. But this is one of my favorite ones. And of course it says again, let your dreams be your wings. But this, y'all, look at how much just adding glitter to this changes the whole look of this. So yeah, those are some of my favorite pieces. Those are not for sale, those go in my bedroom. Oh, and I am gonna show you some bundles in a little bit too. But I might turn this around a little bit so um, there's not so much of a glare out there. So let's get started here. We're going to do the bunnies. <clears throat> let's see which ones we have. We're going to cut one of the bigger bunnies out to do. And I think these are cute. And the thing is, is that you can do these, you don't always have to have the cutouts to work with them. And that's one of the things that I wanted to show you. You do not have to have the cutouts. So then you're going to peel this. And say you don't have one of our fuzzing cloths, right? Look, just take it, put it right on your shirt. Oh, look at my shirt. Yes, my shirt is done. I did my shirt myself as well. You can do it a little bit on your sweater. It's okay. And I know that a lot of you might be busy today and might not be catching this right now. But if you are catching the live or the replay, let me know. Look at this. Isn't this so stinking cute? Look at that little bunny. So we're going to take the bunny over here. And we are just going to put the bunny right in front of the grass as well. We're going to smooth her up. I know, she's so cute. And look, she looks like she's looking over here at this little butterfly. And then you can always tell if you need to fuzz a little bit more is when you go to remove it. It should remove easily. 
and it's a very windy day so what I had first had out here to block the sun it just kept getting um, knocked away with the wind so that's why I put the paper on the actual patio door I think I want him a little closer like he's looking right at this butterfly and I had thought about removing that butterfly when I was going to start this, but so we're just going to make sure there are no air bubbles and I bet you can guess which colors I'm going to use. Hmm, shimmer. That's right, you can take our paste and just put it on your patio door on any glass surface. Now, if you were just going to do um, it like this and wash it off, you do not have to heat set it or anything like that. No, you do not. So we're just gonna go in here I'm going to <clears throat> So I want to tell you guys I had just kind of put the lids um, not correctly on my the other night because I was working on them right when I got done and then um, Jason needed me for something and I came back and um, I didn't go back over there because I was like, well, I already brought the transfers over. I washed them, everything. But I had left the lid so they got a little dry. All I did was just add a little water right now. That's it. So we're going to go over here. And we are going to add the shimmer melon to our bunny. And a lot of these will be like semi-translucent right now just because I don't want like a hard uh, coloring on my glass. I just want like it to be seen but not like, ooh, you know. Oh, guys, I am loving uh, all these new spring items. Next month we have 25 new items coming out. I have a love-hate relationship with spring because then that means my allergies. So forgive me. Look at this. So cute. And then, of course, you always just take any of the extra, right? Wipe it off back into your container. Because I'm not throwing this stuff down the sink. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just grab... Make sure that my fingers are clean and then when we go to remove this hey Audrey we are going to pull this off and like I said when you're on glass or um, a mirror you want to just slowly do this so this is just going to give us a little bit of a look of a bunny looking at it because it doesn't have the whole um, because normally you would put this on the like the cutout but see how you can do that without and it just gives you that little look of it now if you want you can once this is dry I'm actually going to take our uh, chalk pens and I'm going to outline it Let's see if I can show you one real quick. If I have it right here, so I can show you. So you can take our chalk pens, and I could go in here and do anything just to make it look more. So, like, I could actually go up in here and do more on the water so that we can see it. So yeah, so like his little nose is here, I could carefully just fill in his nose for right now. And then once my hand is steadier, see I can outline it. So I think it's cool that you can do so many different things with chalk. You can't, like I said, it's on my shirt. I did my shirt. You can do so many things, y'all. And if you think that you're not creative, 
you can go look at our Chalk Couture website and they will show you so many different projects or our Facebook page. That's our public page that you can see so many different ways that people have used it. So I do want to do one of the other little bunnies. Because I think they're just so cute. And we're going to just put him on here and we're going to do the same thing. This time we are going to use one of my favorites. The Shimmered Orchid. Yep, I love this stuff, y'all. And it smells so good. It does. It really does. And like I said, in a little bit, I am going to do, I'm going to show you some bundles that I have at the house here that are on special. Look at that. Do you see how easy creamy that goes on? It, uh, literally, if you can do, um, if you can spread butter on your toast, you can chalk. It is that dang darn simple, y'all. And there is, like these bunnies are on top of grass, but that's okay. You can do it on there and it will be just fine. Wipe off your paste. And I'm going to put the lid on because we all know what I did before with them. And one, everything is set up on a chair over here. So I am kind of worried that, you know, I don't want to knock this off. If I would knock this off on the carpet, I mean, it would be a bigger mess to clean up, but I could still do it. So we're going to gently pull this down, and there you go. I love that you can just see that little bit of the outline of the bunnies. Look at that. Isn't them so cute? And like I said, once they are dried more, I can take that marker. Yeah, see, he's not quite dried yet. And I can just go around it. So you will see. You see how that goes in? That you can see more of the actual bunny. It's harder to do when it's wet because I want to rest my hand. But isn't that cute that you can just... Not so much of a steady hand this morning, but do you see that? And then I can just do that little tail right there too. Isn't that cool that you can do that? Like just different little ways that you can fix that. Um, just to make it a little different, right? Now I did want to show you how you can add some flowers to this if you wanted. This is <clears throat> another transfer. This one is actually called Wild and Free. This was actually our March, last year March. But I do like the flowers on here. So we are going to take this one off. And this one has been used plenty of time. So I don't have to worry about fuzzing it at, at all. And because this bunny is still more wet, I'm just going to... I'm going to this one up here. Maybe we'll put it over a little bit more. So it's whatever your, you know, what you're thinking you can do here. So you guys know that I really love that shimmer and I love the uh, wisteria and the one pink. And then I can show you how that I made the grass, and the grass is pretty easy as well. The grass, all I did was take the eucalyptus, um, the eucalyptus shimmer, and I took a fan brush, and I just did like a little pull it up, pull it up, you know, 
like I'm a huge Bob Ross fan. Like I used to watch him all the time, you know. And it's just putting it on and then you take it and you just do it on its side because you just want like some little grass blades coming up there. And yeah, that's all it is. So I've done snow um, as well. Um, you know, I did different snow two different years. One year I used that um, snow in the can. I don't like that stuff. That stuff is really crappy to get off. I'm just going to tell you honestly. So see, now you can see just that little fun, right? And I also did this because this watering can was more just like an outline. And I wanted it to be um, where you could really see it. So then I just went in there and added a little bit more. So that you could see it. Because in the summertime until I get my sun shield up, it will be, you'll be able to see it, but it's when the sun is hitting it the right way. So see, now the can, you can see more details of the can by doing this. And all this is, is that I'm taking a fan brush that I just put a little bit of water on the fan brush itself. And then I pulled the colors. Yeah. Do you see that? Nice and easy. You don't have to worry about being perfect because, you know, life is not perfect. And if you don't do it right, you just wipe it off and you redo it, right? You don't have to get yourself all up and, you know, worried about it and that. See, because I went out of line a little bit. You yeah, just take the best tools out there and clean it right off. But do you see now how much more you can see of that watering can? I love that there's so many ways that you can use chalk. So many ways. So I'm going to put this brush down. And we are going to do a little bit of those flowers. Yes, we are. And I am just stirring one more of them that I left open, which is fine because, like I said, you can easily fix this. <laughs> so good that you can do that, right? Well, let me show you these ones. I'm going to put them over there so we don't make a big mess. We are going to, you know what? We might have to use some of the multi-tool. So the multi-tool comes so handy. You can go in there and you can just pull out how much you want. And I'm going to do a little bit of hit and miss with this color right now so that then um, when I go back in I will be able to just do the um, grass then. So we want some of this little pink here. Do a little pink down in here. And a little here. And then we're going to take my favorite color. And in between, I'm just wiping off that multi-tool. Well, y'all, I love these little flowers. So I find it really nice that you can take some of the transfers that you had from before and you can use them again because you know we're all about that y'all you know we all have to watch our budgets and everything so why not 
take some of the ones that you've had from before and use them again. That's the beauty of chocolate chore is that you can um, continue to use them. What we're going to take this one is that gorgeous jade color. And we're going to go in here and add some stems and leaves to some of these flowers. And yes, I am working quickly because I don't want to take this off and put it back on, take it off. So we are doing this fairly quickly here. Let's see how much the wind is trying to grab my paper that even though I have it taped down out there. It is still trying to um, pull on it. So we're just going to add just a little bit of green right here, okay? So we're just going to set this down real quick so I can show you this part. It's hard when you're not working in your usual area. And like I said, you're just going to... And look at the cute little flowers that we've added. Can you guys see those flowers, how dang darn cute they are? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I just love that you can add them. So once this bunny is more dried, I could go in there and add more over on this side. But like I said, as this bunny dries, I can take... See, this one I just outlined in the white, so I'm going to try and show you this bunny outlined in black. It doesn't really matter because these colors, well, I forgot that I just um, painted some of the grass there. And that, so yeah. So I think the white almost actually shows up better. So you can just kind of go back in there. And do it now. I need to do this though. Sometimes you need to prime your chalk, and that's just touching it a few times on like a paper towel or paper. And then you can go back in here, and I'm kind of looking at the actual one and doing his. Oh, they think they're little. Bunnies have little whiskers too. And these markers are not expensive markers at all on our website. And these markers come very much in handy in case you you make a little boo-boo, which of course we know there are none. They're just happy little accidents, right? And it gives you a little bit more of the bunny look, right? Can you see that? That you can see the outlines of the bunnies a little bit better. So um, <clears throat> we have that. And then if you wanted, you could do um, one of the little birdies as well. These birdies don't look like they're in, in flight though. But I mean, you could. And it would be the same way that you just take one of the birds and you would just put it there. I mean, it's that's easy enough to do. And what I would do is I would actually on the side, hey, Melody, is that I would do like actually like right here. I would pull this up like it's a tree branch and then have him setting up there. Because, you know, you kind of just have fun with this, right? And, um, like I said, too, like, all you do is take, like, a paintbrush and then do it. So, it is fairly easy to, to put him on. So, we could come over here and we could do, like, another flower. You just put it on. 
And it's just giving it more of that like springy time look. Because, you know, I love that springy time look. And I'm just going to go in here. And do my favorite color first. That Shimmer Orchid. And all these items are available in my back office. And if you guys ever have any issues when you get at home and you're like, hey, what did she say to do now? All you have to do is message me and I would um, message you back and let you know. I also do one-on-ones. Like we could get on a Zoom call together or, you know, just um, a phone call together. Now I am going to show you, add that little bit, that lilac -y color in here too, because I like that. Or I'm sorry, it's a wisteria color. And we're just going to quickly... Go in there. I don't want to do that one because that one's over the actual bunny. So just kind of trying to see where they are. And we're just going to do this one too real quick. Now, if you want, you could put a little bit of that lilac on top of that previous color that you did. And then just make sure that you put it off to the side a little bit so that you don't get it... Um, that you don't go and put that one back in there. This is one of my favorite greens besides the shimmers. And this one is Jade. My neighbors will tell me sometimes that they see me doing stuff on my door and they're, like, they're always wondering, what is she doing? Set this off to the side. And the reason that you try and carefully not do it just from one corner is that you do not want it to stretch because this is actually fabric. And if you stretch it, it's not going to kind of line up right for the next time. So we're just going to put this over here on this one as well. But look at that. Do you guys see how cute that is? Like, super cute, super easy to do. I want to just grab one more color because I really do want to show you if I can find it. I think we might do, maybe we'll do that camel color. show you a different way that you could do like a tree over here so we are going to take the it looks like wood right and look at this you all will be so amazed at how easy we can put like a tree up here We're just going to stir this up and look at this. We're going to go in and we are going to do a tree right here. And then we'll do, we'll pull this off and make it come all the way down. But I want you to see. How cool this will look then. I do need a bigger area over here when I'm working. Let me just tell you, having a little chair to have all my stuff, it's not that easy. So now watch. I probably didn't even have it so you guys could see this. Look at this. Oh, and then we're going to run into that problem. Um, I have a...
on here, I actually have a feel to help with that. But do you see, look at how, sorry. Do you see how that looks so much like wood? So that is how we are going to do, hang on. We're gonna go do the whole tree this way. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna line this up and it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see there's some left over in there, so you could actually just do this with your fingers as well if you want. And you can add different browns in here as well to add just a little texture. So see, you can do this with either the squeegee or you can do this with your fingers as well. And it will just add a little bit of a different look to it as not as smooth as look. But that's okay, right? Because trees are not perfect. So now I just have to hold the... And look at that. And then you might want to use like the same part all the time, but this little butterfly might have to go away. I think it's going to have to go away. So I'm going to show you real quick how to take the butterfly off because I really do need the, sorry. I'm going to just lay this back a little bit. Just a little water, and I don't want that water to run down on my other project there. And look at that. So now we can do this, and we're going to just do like a Real, I want it like a smaller tree limb coming out. So I'm just going to kind of tack that back there. And we are going to take our squeegee again. And I'm going to try and just do like a small section because most, you know, tree branches are not as big as the actual tree itself. So, you're going to do that. Don't curl up on yourself, you thing. And this will give me, it's going to kind of come around, like a spot to have that bird sitting on. And it's so funny because I was, I was planning on doing a tree, but then I remembered I had this that actually looks like wood. And then I'll go in and clean that up a little bit. But do you see how cool that looks? Do you see how cool that looks? And then I will come down here and I will probably have to do this um, flower again because um, I'm going to put the tree down here. And that's okay too. If you need to do that, it's, you know, 
because like I said, I was planning on doing a different type tree and then it's like, hey, wait, we have this one that looks like a tree. And I just want to try and get it over in that one edge there. And it's amazing how, like you think, oh, she's using so much chalk paste. But you know what? In the end, when you actually keep scraping it off, you don't use as much as you think you do. See, look at that. And then I'll just go up here and do like... <clears throat> different branches, like make it a little. I'm trying not to do the same, like flipped it around. So it's not the exact same wood. And I could add like some black to this or I could add some dark brown to it. But I just kind of want, not a harsh outline of that tree, but I just want enough. And then we're going to remove all the extra. So I'm not going to throw that down my kitchen sink. And look at that. And then I'll just continue up. And then I will wipe it off the side here. And then he's gonna kinda become a little fight up here. See, I got some on here, but that'll wipe off real easily. And look at this. So our transfers don't have to be used as they are for shown. You can use them in any way that you would like. So I'm just going to take, look at how much extra chalk paste came off here. And I'm going to wipe my fingers real quick. Look at this. Sorry, I have to be in front of you. But I'm trying not to let pull the film off my um, window there. So then I can just go back through, wipe that off, and then I can go back and put another branch on there if I want. I could actually put a branch on the other side too. So it's... So much fun what you can do so we've added the first thing we did was I added the butterflies the watering can then I added some of the water coming out I have the bunnies the grass and now the tree and once this tree is dried more I will put a bird up on it so that's what I do. This is my happy place. When I am chalking, I am in my happy place. And you can see, I know it's really hard to see today. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And then I can put that little birdie up on the top there. And it will totally, totally change it. I think it's one of those things that you can just keep adding and adding. And when you have such a large canvas of a beautiful door, so even if you have like a little window on your front door, you could do that. We happen to have steel doors because we live in an apartment. Oh, hang on, y'all. I got a hair in my eye. So the only thing that I'm going to have to remember today is to let this dry before I open the door. That's it. 
I want it to be completely dried more than four minutes before I go and open it to take off the paper off the back if it keeps blowing. So think about that. The shirt, don't look.